another week for another tip and this time we're going to directly save our scene without doing anything else because we require to do it so to complete this tutorial so make sure you create a folder and inside that folder name your blender scene right before doing anything else and this week we're going to be exploring how to correctly export a VDB volume simulation outside Blender. I've seen many, many um, forums asking on what is the correct format to create a basic smoke simulation or explosion simulation and then drive it outside Blender. And this is what we're going to do on this tutorial. You can follow the steps right here on the screen because we are creating a simple smoke simulation by selecting this sphere, pressing the spacebar, which will in turn do the search function. So type quick smoke, and then we have this. Now I'm going to scale the smoke domain and then duplicate the spheres. Then I'm going to press auto keyframes, and then I'm going to play it back. And as soon as I play back this and the auto keyframe is activated, I can move this sphere all around the smoke domain and the keyframes are getting recorded. That's a nifty function here on Blender 279. I'll do the same with the second sphere. And now let me adjust the camera view just so we can see that both spheres are being simulated inside the smoke domain. And right now I want you to pay attention at the uh, format that we're going to be using because instead of using the native one we're going to switch the name and also we're going to click on bake all simulations and we are going to see on the timeline a little gray line that represents that everything has been um, rendered out you can also change the name right there on the smoke cache this is very important so that when you play back everything play plays back from a cached file. That means that the file has been written, the data has been um, stored in your hard drive as an external file and such it can be played back in real time. So now we're going to change the smoke uh, domain resolution and also other parameters here which will make our smoke much detailed. We need that in order to export the VDB volume with a correct dimension and also definition. Here we change the file format and also the versioning and also the output directory. So please navigate to your current folder and then create a new folder which we are going to be calling smoke simulation in this case. And once you press of course you save and once you press bake or create all the simulations you're going to be seeing the progress bar up here and then the files will get written on your hard drive this is what interests us because once it's finished we are going to rename this as the naming convention with a different name okay so now we play back our animation and smoke is really looking awesome fantastic now we are going to copy the direction and then I'm going to type my batch renamer application which you will see on the description below and then I'm going to show you where you need to open here right here we're going to create a new or rather yes a new task on the folder so navigate to the folder the smoke simulation folder one and click OK it's gonna find your files and on the left side we're gonna have tasks different tasks you can add tasks up here and then what we're going to do is to tell it to rename every file this is just a basic um, batch renamer because we need to put the format with a simple sequence like VDB in my case VDB underscore 001 002 that's the way I prefer to like it now I'm going to switch into my other application in this case Softimage because I'm going to be using the Redshift VDB um, volume to represent that VDB sequence you can use Houdini a free learning edition which will also 
input your VDB sequence. And in my case, I'm going to be telling this to read more than three numbers. So I'm going to replace this by a hashtag, actually three hashtags. That means it's a sequence. And I have 400 and something frames on Blender. So that's what I'm going to write on my general timeline. But remember, Y is front on Blender and here Y is up. So all you need to do is just rotate the X axis 90 degrees and then we can play back the simulation. Now we see that the box is um, growing because the simulation is playing back. And then we need to assign a new shader. In this case, it's going to be the VDB volume, or rather the volume, redshift volume, directly onto the material that we've created. And then we're going to assign the property density right here so that it can identify what it's going to be shading. In our case, our simulation. But if you want to see what the box represents, you can switch the viewport to be represented with um, dots, in this case in a dot matrix dots, and also let's change the renderer so we can quickly see what we have. Now if you render preview, you will not get anything because you need to assign the shader and also if you want to see it on the viewport, you can switch it as points. So this is what we're going to do here. I'm going to assign 2000 points and there, and then you can see it's playing back and now I'm going to assign this shader that we just created with this button. All right. So now I have assigned the reader and the shading, but I still don't see anything even though I have a, a light. So what I'm going to do is to create a grid so that it can reflect some light back. And now I am correctly seeing the light bounce against the volume. That's what we wanted. Now let's check out the alpha. It's all there. It came out correctly. Everything is playing back the way it should. So now I'm going to be fast forwarding this. I'm going to be duplicating the box that you just saw two or three times around to create an environment and such that um, simulation, the smoke simulation is playing back. I'm going to be also setting some pretty hard lights around it, some cards, and the final result is this. Believe it or not, you just exported a VDB volume correctly outside from Blender to another external app. You can do this on Houdini as well. I'm going to keep updating more videos about the production notes on how to produce anime on Blender using these kinds of effects. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button to receive instant notifications whenever I upload a new video. Thank you very much.